Hi, my name is Christian Svensson and I'm a technical specialist at Emerson. In this video, you will learn how to install and configure the Rosemont 2460 system hub in the Rosemont tank aging system. This step-by-step -step guide will be performed using the Rosemont Tankmaster WinSetup software and the Rosemont 2460 system hub. Let's get started. To begin the process, first you will navigate to the de devices folder in the Rosemont Tankmaster WinSetup. Right click and select install new. Select the 2460 system hub in the list. Give it a tag name and press next. Make sure that you select the correct Modbus channel. Enter the Modbus address that we configured earlier in the web interface of the system hub. By clicking Verify Communication, a pop-up window will appear that when communication with the device is successfully established. Press Next to continue. In this section, you can see and configure field and host port settings for your system hub. This is done under the Advanced option. In this step, you will set up the tank database for all the different devices connected to the system hub. Towards the bottom, you find the explanations to the abbreviations of the different parameters. Next, you will navigate to the correct tank position where the configuration of the devices are made. Then, a source that is connected to the system hub must be selected. In this case, you will select the Rosemount 2410. The system hub needs to know on what physical field port the 2410 is connected. Therefore, the Modbus address must be assigned to the Rosemount 2410 and the tank position for the devices in the Rosemount 2410 should be stated here. The level device must have a unique Modbus address. For the temperature device, you don't need to set any address. It will have the same information as the Rosemont 2410. However, you must specify the amount of temperature elements connected. If you have any auxiliary devices also connected to the system hub, like vapor pressure, middle pressure, liquid pressure, or free water level, you can assign them here. If you have any relays, they need to be configured here as well. This configuration needs to be done on all devices connected to the Rosemont 2460. Only configure devices that are connected to the system hub. When done, press next. If you are using a pair of redundant system hubs, you can set up the redundancy here or in the web interface. Otherwise, you may skip this step. This is the confirmation screen for the installation of the Rosemont 2460. It shows you a summary of the system hub soon to be installed. Press finish and the installation is complete. Rosemont Tankmaster will now confirm the installation and let us know that it has been successful. To the left, under Devices, you can now see the installed Rosemont 2460. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.